Thank you for that. Chris just blew me a kiss. There you go. Oh, there you, you go. Back, Chris. Oh, um, that's nice of you. So happy Monday, everyone. It's a Monkey Monday. And uh, today we're talking about uh, case studies. Yes. And everyone on the planet pretty much knows what a case study is. Yeah. But we do this format, so let's go through it. It's the story of a successful project. But why, uh, why do we tell these stories? Why do we have uh, case studies? Well, it demonstrates your exp expertise. I can nearly say that. Yep. Um, and it shows, uh, showcases your happy customers to everyone on the planet. Yeah, I, th I think also, you know, it generates unique marketing content. No one else can tell this story. No one else can uh, show what you did for the customer, how you helped the client. And the other thing it can do is um, it, it, it creates a sense of familiarity so if somebody um, is has a similar project uh, they can look at how you help them and it can create trust that you be able to do the same thing um, for those guys so it could bring real value to your marketing uh, to tell these stories it's a much better way of saying how great you are at a certain job by demonstrating it rather than just saying we're the best at this we're the fastest we have the lightest graphic design department in the world whatever you're trying to say <laughs> so how do we do it? How do you create good content? How do you approach uh, writing a case study? Well, first of all, we have to plan ahead and we would assume that every project which we start would become a case study. And that would really help because uh, you would probably do the best job you possibly can for a client because you know you're going to be promoting it later on date. Yeah, I think it helps weed out maybe projects that uh, maybe you shouldn't even take on actually mm -hmm. because um, if you can't uh, at the end of that project determine what great value you've brought then perhaps it's not a project you should be taking on in the first place if it's something that uh, doesn't interest you or isn't aligned to you and you wouldn't want to use a case study. Um, planning ahead like that and assuming this every project you're going to do will be a great case study um, uh, as well means that you might document as you go. So rather than trying to retroactively uh, go, oh, what did we do for this person? How did we help them? Um, if you start recording your journey with them, it will help you get that case study written really well. Yeah, and if we start in the same way and we follow the same structure for each case study, it's going to look a lot nicer on your site and people will be able to follow the stories through. So, yeah. so when we get back to that familiarity side of things as well, if people check a few case studies and they're all formatted in the same way and they absorb the information in the same way, um, that's going to work better than just case studies written by different people in a different way. Yeah, so we've broken out into yellow here and, and uh, this is the structure that we would suggest you go for. I mean, it depends on your industry as well because there's lots of different uh, types of industry and how you would want to demonstrate. So, I don't know, big commercial sector stuff, you might want to have the value of the project in there if that's important to your customers. So this is our guide. Um, so number one, uh, identify the problem or the goal of the project. So what are you trying to achieve for the customer? Uh, number two, explain your approach and how you're going to uh, work through that project. Um, how you implemented it. So uh, what did you do? What actual parts of uh, the project did you deliver? How did you um, begin to solve uh, these problems and goals? Uh, what results did you get? And how did that affect the company that you did the work for? Yeah, and how happy was um, the customer at the end of all of this. If you, if you f format it like this and you know at the end of every single case study you're going to put together that you're going to ask that client for a testimonial, it's going to help you make sure that that testimonial is as positive as it can be and it'll help you give that customer the best service you possibly can. Yep. And finally, market and promote the case study. So um, uh, certainly if you care about online marketing, what you don't want to do is create a huge library of um, of case studies that nobody's looking at and you have low value pages um, and it won't help your whole SEO makeup um, if nobody cares about these, these pages or these things that you write. Yeah, and these things can have really rich content that will really help your site. So uh, these testimonials can be written and they can also be uh, video, so you can put them on Facebook and they'll be really engaging for potential clients. Yeah, and if you want to get really nerdy, you could even microformat or rich snippet this up. If you're not sure what those terms are, perhaps we'll put some links at the bottom there that explains them a little bit further. Hopefully we will. Hopefully we will. So thank you very much uh, for watching. We are going to be taking a little break now for the summer. Yeah, we're going to go off on our holidays. Yes, so relax in the sun for a little bit. 
Um, but we will be coming back with more uh, Monkey Mondays um, starting early in September. So uh, keep us posted. If you've got any requests or anything you'd like us to talk about, drop them in the comments below and uh, we'll certainly take a look. All right. Have a good summer, everyone. Thank you very much. See ya.